finish the pass later on, but we'll see what happens first. I'm going to meet my buddy out here. He says he's getting into him pretty decent, so I'll see what happens, guys. There we go. Another littler one. <clears throat> I'll go back. Okay, I'm not going to throw some back now because he got royally screwed up. When I was taking him off the hook, so I'll keep him because I don't think he's going to be able to eat anymore. Alright, so I got my crappie and panfish box here. Obviously some stuff will work for perch as well, but it's got this little orange jig head. Just a tiny little guy. I'll throw that on there. And then I'm just going to tip it with a little bit of worm to start with. <clears throat> and we'll see if that works better. Just like that. I might end up throwing a little extra weight on there just because it's going to take a little longer to drop down, but we'll see. See if this smashes them first. Alright, this might be the go-to. I just had a little hit on there almost immediately. So, drop it down until I hit bottom like that. Reel up just a little bit, and then I just jig it a little bit. Like I would ice fishing, kind of. Ah, missed that one. There we go. Little guy. You'll go back. I think I can get him off the hook better on this thing too. Without screwing him up so much. But another nice little perch. Back in the water. We're after the pigs today. We haven't caught any yet though. There we go. It's a little better one. Still a little small, but... I'll probably keep anything over about seven and a half. I don't think that one's seven and a half. Let me check. I'll throw them back. I got plenty of fish in the freezer, so. See if we can get any pigs. I want some like nine inches. That'd be nice. There we go. That's a better one. That's a nice one. Definitely a keeper there. I could tell that was a better fish right away. Oh, he's stealing. I was just trying to set up my other camera. Go back. And they actually, with that orange, they actually kind of chase up for it, which is nice. Sometimes you just uh, readjust, drop it down a little bit, what? a little bit, and uh, and they'll hit it. That's a real nice colored one right there. That one's probably coolerable. Eh. Really? Yeah, why not? I'll eat them. They ain't gonna go to waste. Another one there. Whoop. Oh no. Fish in the boat. Fish in the boat. Where are you, dude? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Come here, man. Yeah. We'll throw you in there. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll drop down again. Dang, man. I suck. There we go. A little bit better one. That's what we're after, guys. Just these nice eating size perch. Nice freaking eaters. I know some people don't like to keep them unless they're humongous, but you can still get plenty of meat off these little guys, littler ones too. And personally, the littler ones have sweeter meat. So I don't mind keeping some of them. There we go. Yeah, buddy. That's a nice one. That's a perfect size eater in my opinion. Not too big, not too small. Just a nice solid eater. And into the cooler of the ice he goes. You, sir, are dinner. Yeah, guys, if you're not already, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. I love doing catch and cooks. Um, so if you have something else you want me to try, just drop a comment down below. And uh, I'll try to get it done for you this summer. There's not really much we can hunt or fish right now, or hunt right now. Um, but, oh, missed that one. But if you have a suggestion on something that you want me to try catching and eating, definitely let me know. I'm all for trying to eat different things. Got ourselves a devil's folk. Top one's definitely a keeper. If I can, man, these hooks come out mean of these little perch. Let me get him in the cooler. And the bottom one's going to get released. Alright guys, I'm back home now with the uh, few perch that I caught. It was, I was catching them pretty decent to start with and then they just shut like right off. I got 10 perch total, so enough for a decent little meal. Um, but I'm going to show you how to clean them now. So that right there is what you start with just your regular old perch good all of these are good uh, eaters so and then that's your flay right there then you just gotta go through and cut the rib bones out to clean these fish what I like to do is just set the fish flat on a cutting board or whatever you want to cut them on and then I just start right here by the and then I just like to angle towards the front of the fish so angle your knife towards look forward just cut down until you feel that, you feel the spinal bone in there. And then you just slowly cut in and then turn your knife so you then flat. So it's flat and you follow this uh, uh, dorsal fin right down. And then just slowly, you feel your way along the spine. It's basically the same as playing any fish if you've never played one or a perch, if you flip any other fish, you'll know how to do this. But then you, once you do that, you just flip your flay over, start at the tail, cut down into the skin, and just keep on working your way right down, and then you can cut your flay off. And then when you just start right here, and you just follow the ribs down. Just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of these up and I'll get back to you. Alright guys, and there we go. That's our pile of perch meat from the 10 perch we got. So they're all nice boneless fillets and uh, we just gotta clean them up and I'll show you how to cook them. Alright guys, we're about to start cooking these perch up. So let me show you what I got. So here we have the perfectly clean uh, yellow perch fillets, they're all nice good little good sized fillets so there's that, and then we have the uh, flour this is what I like to use to coat them, I don't do an egg wash or anything I just take the fish whole glob of them and then I just throw them right in there and then also we have the oil heating up right now Thing, I think it's supposed to be around 375 degrees, but I always just take a little bit of flour and just sprinkle it in there. And that oil right there is probably hot enough, I'd say. Let me double check with a little bit of flour. 
Oh yeah, that, that oil is plenty hot enough. See how it's just sizzling right away? That's perfect. So I'm just going to turn that down a little bit right now. Now you just go ahead and put your cover on and then you just shake them. You also don't have to shake them. You can just throw them in a bowl with flour and um, mix them with your hand if you want. But Now we just go ahead take our perch fillets all nice and coated then if your oil is nice and hot the flour will stick to them so just like this and they don't take very long to cook either guys so try your best not to overcrowd it they do need a little room to cook in between but you can throw a good pile of them in there and not have to worry about it Now you're going to want to have a plate to get ready to put fish on and then you're going to want like a slotted spoon so all the grease or the oil can drip out of it. Um, typically I'd put a paper towel on here to soak up some of the other oil and grease but I don't have any paper towels at the moment. So these are pretty much already done. It's been about maybe a minute and 30 seconds if that in the oil. They're getting nice and crispy. So typically, when fish are, when anything's done deep frying, it'll be floating. But I like to just let it float and then uh, give it another like 30 seconds just to make sure. They're all they're all floating now though. So let's go ahead and lift it right up. And you got super nice boneless perch blades. These are also great for tacos. Beautiful, beautiful perch. The perch fillets for tacos, guys, are freaking awesome. So we've got one more in there. Alright. Alright, guys, here we go. Nice, beautiful yellow perch fillet. Let's hit it. Man. It has got to be the best eating fish in the frickin' lake. People always try to argue with me that crappie is the best eating fish out there in the lake, and it's so not true. Look how nice that meat is right there. Nice and white and flaky. Oh, it's awesome. If you've never eaten yellow perch, gotta go get you some of these and try them. I'm not gonna let you guys just sit here and watch me eat a whole plate of perch but if you guys like the video make sure to hit the subscribe button I will be doing this stuff all summer long I plan on getting the boat out a lot more catching a bunch of different fish um, but let me know down in the comments what you think I should target in my boat because this year is like my first year of actually doing a lot of boat fishing so it would be kind of nice to have some ideas of what I should go after so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one